Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a review of the Avatar Editor, which has been updated in the last couple versions of Clo. We're going to review using the sizes that are in the library. We're going to review the updated Avatar Editor. And we're going to talk about saving your avatar and your custom sizes. So here we have one of our newer avatars, Mia. Within the avatar folder, there is a size folder, which includes seven different groups of sizing. You also have a reset file to reset the avatar back to the default size. I'm going to go into Missy Straight, and we can see that I have sizes ranging from size 2 to size 20. Our default avatars are a size 4, and they are 5 feet 9 inches tall. To change my size of my avatar using the sizes in the library, I simply double click on the size. The avatar has been resized to an ASTM Missy Straight 12. Her height has also changed, and she is now 5 feet 5 inches tall. I'm going to go back and reset her to the female tall avatar. Next, I'm going to go into the Avatar Editor. In the Avatar menu, here's our Avatar Editor. When the Avatar Editor opens up, we can see that the body measurements now are shown with the dotted lines on the Avatar. We can see here at the top of our Avatar Editor that she is the default Avatar size. You also have here in this drop-down all of those size ranges that you can choose from. To begin changing the size of the avatar to something custom, here's what we suggest. Start by changing the width from bust circumference to weight. This will activate the total body shapes here. You have a default shape, you have hourglass shape, you have inverted triangle, round, and triangle or pear shape. Along with that you have some basic circumference, height, lower body, and upper body measurements. If I click on my avatar here and change her body shape to hourglass, we can see that her shape changes slightly. Here is our inverted triangle, here is our round, and here is our pear shape. I'm back at hourglass. Here, if you would like, you can make some simple changes to things like the bust, the waist, and the low hip. And you can see how it has changed the shape of our avatar and made it look more realistic for that shape. These changes have been made very easily and you can get very quick results. If you would like to make more changes, you can switch from the simple details, to advanced human body, advanced dress form. I'm going to switch to advanced human body. When I do this, my measurements visually have changed. The total, total body shape has now been grayed out. If we click on these measurements here, you can see that they become highlighted in the 3D window to let us know what these measurements are. You can make the changes here as well. 
For example, if I would like to make her have a shorter body, I can increase her inseam. She stays the same height, her inseam gets longer, her body gets shorter. You can also change the size of the hand. and the circumference of the head as well. Now, should you decide that you like these measurements here, there are two things that you can do. First, you can go to your file menu and save this as an avatar. It will default to your avatar folder so I will say Mia new. And if I go to my library here, I can see now that I have Mia new here. The other thing that I can do, if I come up here to the very top, there is the option to save this size measurement. I can click the icon, I get an AVS size file. I can put, I can rename this and let me just name this Mia New so that it matches the avatar that I saved. As you can see, I have a bunch of other ones here that I have saved. Now I can also save this as a CSV file comma separated value file and what that would allow me to do is to save these measurements into a document that can be edited and viewed in Excel. Now once you have that custom size saved, if I remove the avatar that is here and add a new avatar I can use that avatar size here by going into custom and choosing the custom size that I saved and that sizing can be used with any of the female avatars